It is time to get dangerous Disney Afternoon fans. Oh yes, because in this video we're going to talk about the Disney Afternoon's first true superhero. Daring duck of mystery, champion of right, it's high time we took a look at Darkwing Duck. Be it DuckTales, Chippendales Rescue Rangers, or Tailspin, some of you out there might be surprised that games based on 1990s Disney shows have remained beloved by players of all ages throughout the years. However, you have no legitimate reason to be surprised that Darkwing Duck ended up with an amazing game, because Darkwing Duck is inarguably the best suited for the medium of games. From its debut in 1991, Darkwing Duck had a focus on action, comedic and occasionally bumbling action naturally, but since Darkwing Duck is above all else a superhero, Capcom's interactive adaptation is raw, streamlined super heroics. I mean, all you need is one look at Darkwing Duck's outfit, his crime-fighting gadgetry, his rogues gallery of bad guys, and you can see how it's a colorful send-up of Silver Age comic books. And with evil organizations like Foul seen specifically in this game, Darkwing also takes inspiration from mystery novels and pulpy spy thrillers. It's pretty clear that this Disney character was tailor-made for a great game. And speaking of inspiration, Capcom took some cues from its equally lovable hero, Mega Man, while developing DW's side-scrolling adventure, and the formula proved to be an impossibly good fit, because like Mega Man, Darkwing can choose the order he visits levels, of course via the Thunderquack, piloted by Launchpad McQuack, who you 90s kids may recognize from DuckTales. Also similar to the Blue Bomber, DW has access to a variety of weapons, although not as many, and he can only hold one at a time. But at least Darkwing's trusty gas gun is just as versatile in the game as it was on the show, since you can collect and store up gas energy and then upgrade it at various points throughout the game, with either a pronged electricity attack, a heavy gas shot that blasts in both directions, and even an arrow that sticks to walls, which you can use as custom platforms in order to get to out-of-reach power-up. Try experimenting, because similar to games like DuckTales and Tailspin, Darkwing Duck's game has many hidden bonus levels that you can uncover simply by shooting at the right spot in a stage. But Darkwing's capabilities are hardly wrapped in gas gun alone. DW has a more innate maneuverability and defensive maneuvers that most game characters of the 8-bit era lack. For instance, he can duck under projectiles and even has a crouching fire to take down smaller enemies. And throughout much of the game, you'll have to rely on DW's ability to grapple up and down numerous ledges. Not only does this help Darkwing ascend and descend at will, the game features distinct areas and puzzles entirely based around Darkwing's ability to yank on levers, climb to greater heights, and cling to objects. Add to that, Darkwing Duck is one of the few video game characters with an effective block move that you can use at a touch of a button. But perhaps the greatest aspect of Darkwing Duck is the boss battles at the end of every level. Unlike Mega Man or even any other 8-bit superhero game, almost no game during this era featured so many recognizable villains from a previously established stable of rivals. If you were a fan of the TV show, these were the heavies you wanted to face off against, and Darkwing Duck delivered. And even better, whether it's Bushroot, Quackerjack, Megavolt, Liquidator, or the final confrontation with Steelbeak, each boss confrontation is completely different, making for an awesome finale for every stage. To put it simply, old school players could easily make the case that Darkwing Duck is one of, if not the best superhero game of the 8-bit era. And it's great to have him back. And remember, it's just one of six classic games included in the Disney Afternoon Collection, now newly optimized with time attack modes, a rewind feature, and an entire museum of classic art from the Capcom vaults. The Disney Afternoon Collection is out April 18th on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One.